Welcome back to the Hillbilly RV channel. Today we're gonna to be putting an air conditioner on this leisure of class B van. This is one of these air conditioners where you can't see it from up inside, everything's on top. It's held down by lag bolts on top. So, uh, so we're gonna get started. First thing we're gonna do is get this shroud off. There's one of our lag bolts. There's another one over just like it. Uh, I'm gonna assume the, oh, there's the other two. So there's our four lag bolts that hold this thing down. So we're gonna get those out. There's what they hold it down the roof with. Get the four lag bolts out. Now we gotta unwire it. Because this one's all this one is all on the top. So we gotta get this cover off here and uh, get this thing unwired. Yeah, there's like a half dozen little uh, quarter inch hex head screws. Hold this black cover down. And then there's some little catches right here, too, which you need to undo. They're pretty easy. You usually get them by hand. Usually half of them aren't even clicked in. Pull that off. And here's our wiring. These are always hard wired in. Here's all our DC control wiring and then our, our uh, 110 volt AC. A lot of times your uh, 110 volt AC wires will just have a like a quick connect on them. They didn't do that in this instance. To get those undone now, Need to get this strain release out of this box. While Cameron's getting us some needle nose pliers, we'll go ahead and get started getting the tape off this mess here. We have all those 12 volt control wires that we need to uh, to deal with. We finally got those out there so there's our 110 volt wires now this we're just going to stuff it right back down in there and leave it so when we get the new air conditioner up here we'll be able to hook it up now i always love when they do stuff like this a lot of manufacturers thinks it's a really good idea to have you know the same color wiring in the coach so as you can see, we got three white wires coming out of the coach, and we got one, two, three, six yellow ones. And yes, they're numbered, but rather than do all that, I'm just gonna cut these off because our, our wire colors on our new air conditioner should be the same. So what I'm gonna do is when I snip these off, I'm gonna leave some of the color that we need here and we'll, we'll replace these one at a time. So we'll know that this is a, we'll know that this is a red and white. We'll know that this one is orange and so on and so forth. This one's solid red, the other one was red and white. And then our two furnace wires, which are always blue or nearly always blue. And once again, we're just gonna stuff these down in here. Start getting ready for the new air conditioner. This should be loose from the roof now, we hope. Probably gonna go ahead and put shroud and everything back on this and get ready to pull this off the roof. So we'll be back. All right, now comes the fun part. Getting the old one off, getting the new one on. 
Good thing about this, this is a fiberglass roof, so we don't have to worry about scooting the air conditioner. We're not gonna hurt a thing. So there's the old one off. Now we gotta put the new one on. Looks good. All right, well there's all the, that's, that's all there is to that. Easy peasy. All right, so got the new one up. I'll get it unboxed. I already got my, my roof cleaned off where they had some sealer on it. And uh, we'll carry on. So we got the new one up here. Now we gotta disassemble it so we can install it. Just like before, have to get the shroud off, get the styrofoam piece off, get the plastic piece off, get all our wiring redone, and then we can screw it down. First time you take this styrofoam piece off, you actually have to cut this black foam over there, back there, and right here. And then the styrofoam piece just lift off. Hopefully that won't blow away on us. We're gonna take this black plastic piece off just like we did before. Right. And here is all of our wiring, which I hope is compatible. Oh, they gave us a plug here. I hope our wire colors are the same. So there's that quick connect I was telling you about. Uh, most of them use that quick connect, but Leisure Way thought it was a good idea to, to hardwire it. So we'll probably just continue on just like they did. Just hardwire it, checking wire colors to make sure all of our wire colors they're going to stay consistent from the old one to the new one. I believe they are. Close enough anyway. Got six and six. So that's always a good sign too. I'm just going to make all these wire connections and then I'll be back. All right. Well, there you have it. That's just, uh, I got several other uh, air conditioner videos where we changed air conditioner. So I'll put a link right up here to to some of those actually it's a whole playlist so uh, this is not a this was definitely not a how-to step-by-step but you get the gist of the idea and uh, so we're done with this one uh, it's pretty easy wasn't it camera yeah okay all right we're gonna move on to the next one and uh, y'all have a fantastic day today I've got a little something a little special for you we're gonna do a quick walkthrough on this little class B motorhome uh, we just put an air conditioner on this and the customers were gracious enough to to let me do a quick walkthrough so that's what we're going to do class b leisure travel van this thing is pretty cool um it's got all your amenities that you would expect it's 
Got a box awning. It's got your tankless water heater. It does have a slide out with slide topper. Of course, your driver's compartment. What I thought was cool about this one was the Murphy bed. So it's a center kitchen with a uh, probably a 12 volt refrigerator it looks like. Uh, it has a rear bath so it has a full size shower. I don't think I've ever seen a full size shower in a class B. I'm sure this is closets. Uh, as you can see I mean it's a pretty big bathroom. Of course you got your stove and your sink. Uh, these recliners, which sit across from your TV. So this has a pop-up TV, like I said, that sets right across from the recliners. And uh, then when you want to sleep, those recliners fold flat, your Murphy bed folds down, you go to sleep, and there you go. That's pretty cool. Go ahead. I was just gonna say, also these kind of, they'll pivot turn all the way around oh. and this comes down and this is the dining room oh table. that makes a table yeah okay awesome yeah so, yeah i've just i've never seen a class b that a full-size shower i know that's why we fell in love with it yeah and so. the unity is the the murphy bed the unity is the only one that has that full-size shower oh really okay that's yeah. this really cool yeah well, thank you so much of for course. letting us take a quick tour. No, of course. Thank you for everything. So there you go. Just a really quick tour of this cute little Class B motorhome. Uh, so uh, if you're in the market for one, go check them out. They're in Canada. Leisure. It's just leisure, right? Leisure Not travel vans. Leisure Leisure travel vans is in Canada. So go check them out. They got This is a pretty cool unit. Uh, the customer said this is the only one that has a full-size shower. And... Uh, that would be a big selling point for me.